Hi guys, it's me, Canada, from the Hot Side Nation here. And today we are doing another fanfic review. It is, um, Magpie's Kinky Tales story. Um, the second one of it, uh, the second story. I reviewed the first one, um, uh, Kinky Tales, um, Apple, Apple Jack, and the Beanstalk, this one. Uh, so I decided to review the second one because I loved it. I thought the story was so good that I thought, you know what, I'll review the sequels as well, even though they're not really, you know, sequels in the sense to each other, they're just a bunch of fairy tales, uh, all, they're just a bunch of fairy tale stories. But I thought, you know, I'd do it. Um, this one is called Pinky Tales, uh, The Little Red Riding Bloom. It is about, um, Apple Bloom being, you know, Little Red Riding Hood. It basically involves the whole Apple family and Pinkie Pie, sort of. So yeah, let's, let's get started. So the story starts off with um, the narrator saying that, you know, Apple, um, Apple Bloom, talking about Apple Bloom and how, you know, she, her, how she got her name because she wore this red cloak that her granny made for her. Uh, she wore it because she, to hide her blank blank, but eventually she got so used to wearing it that she just never took it off. Um, so yeah, but eventually one day, that her mother says to her that she wants her to go into the forest to give her her basket, to, to take a basket of goodies for her grandmother, apple, basically apple goodies, um, apple treats. And then Pinkie Pie, of course, in the fashion of the old one, Pinkie Pie breaks the fourth wall and says to the narrator, starts basically what happens is she's eating a treat and making a bunch of munching noises and the narrator gets mad at her. Um... So, yeah, uh, that's basically what happens, and then, uh, basically throughout the whole story, Pinkie Pie's breaking fourth wall, um, yeah, and so, when she tells her that she has to go in the forest, uh, all by herself, Pinkie Pie jumps in and saying that, you know, why is she letting her go in the forest all alone, and then her says, that's just how the story goes, and she, and Pinkie Pie responds, if this is Applejack, um, she wouldn't let her go, and all that stuff. By then, the narrator's starting to get a little mad at Pinkie Pie because he's basically starting to interrupt. She's starting to interrupt him, but you know he brushes it off. And so the story goes on with uh, Apple Bloom um, going through the forest, uh, and then you know it cuts to Applejack and describing um, the Apple uh, Jack the uh, Wolf Jack or Apple Apple Wolf, Apple Wolf, I believe. Yeah. Um, Saying how, you know, it's an apple, it's a wolf that, you know, loves eating apples and all kind of, yeah, eating apples, enjoys it. And then she hears, uh, she smells the apple treats and then sees Apple Bloom and jumps out and asks, what are you doing in this forest all alone? Um, isn't that uh, dangerous? You know, all kinds of creatures could hear. And she, and Apple Bloom responds to, like, you? And she's like, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, um, and anyway, it's not like, point or whatever, um, says, what are you doing here? Well, I'm gonna give these apple, these, uh, treats, this basket of treats to my, uh, grandma, these apple treats to my grandma, and she says, oh yeah, um, but, you know, basically she says that, you know, not a pony, apple, apple wolf says, you know, not a pony can just live on, uh, uh, apple treats, you know, why don't you go over to this field I know, uh, we can put her all kinds of these wild flowers and stuff. And Apple Bloom's like, yeah, all right, I'll go do that. Well, Applejack goes to, while well, Apple Bloom does that, Applejack goes to the cottage because he, um, and um, finds her mom and she disguises herself, sort of disguises her voice, saying, oh, I'm I'm Apple Bloom and I brought your treats. Uh, the uh, grandma puts her in and then realizes it's a wolf. And then this whole weird fight thing goes on. Basically, it's Granny Smith, uh, Granny Smith, uh, gr uh, throwing frying pans at her. And no, not just one frying pan, you know, not one or two, maybe three. She throws a whole bunch of frying pans. At least she had gotten this huge set of frying pans. And she's like, I'm gonna, she's using it as a weapon, throwing it at her, and it's absolutely hilarious. Until she runs out of frying pans. And she decides that, you know, uh, she's like, oh man, I should have gotten, you know, the, you know, 200 set or whatever. And she, um, so, yeah, and then it cuts away to Apple Bloom knocking on the door. She apparently has gotten all the wild, 
uh, bought, gotten, you know, a bunch of wildflowers. She goes in, and, you know, it starts that, you know, classic big, uh, bit of, um, of, uh, the Little Red Riding Hood talk to the wolf, oh, you know, what big eyes you have, and, you know, the wolf responds just to see better. Basically, that's what it is, and you've got a little, uh, um, the, you know, MLP version of it, um, then, um, she says, uh, what's in the basket, what's in the basket, she says, oh, can I have, uh, you know, some of those apple treats in the basket, and, uh, Apple Bloom responds with, how do you feel about treats? She's like, oh, just, just a guess, <laughs> um, but she says, no, that there's not in there, because, um, they're all full of wildflowers, and she explains that, oh, you know, I was gonna get you, bring them, but as I started collecting more wildflowers, I didn't have enough, I got uh, hungry, and I decided to eat them all. And this is the part where Apple, Apple Wolf gets really mad at her, and, you know, jumps out, you know, revealing her disguise. Apple, Blo Apple Bloom gets scared and think, is thinking that, um, she is a Granny Smith, that the wolf is a Granny Smith. Uh, um, and she, uh, starts <laughs> attacking the wolf, and the wolf is trying to say, no, I did, I don't eat wolves, I eat, I don't eat, I don't eat grannies, I eat apples, but, um, yeah, but she's not getting to her, so she, so that goes on, when suddenly outside, uh, the narrator says that, um, that, uh, out, that lumber mac is kind of, hears some noises and decides to go in there, and then, you know, he busts in, but it's, but it, the uh, but it's actually not a lumberjack. It's Pinkie Pie in disguise. And the narrator asks, "What did you do with lumberjack?" And you hear muffling in the background, like he's been tied up and uh, tape has been over his uh, mouth. And Pinkie Pie's like, "You know, I know nothing. He's just in trouble." And the narrator gets really, really mad at her throughout the whole entire story. The narrator, Pinkie Pie, has been interrupting the narrator as you know Pinkie Pie is. I um, imagine Pinkie Pie would do in this. Pinkie Pie is doing uh, in the first one just like the first one and then he gets so mad that she's like you know the narrator has to like you know um, uh, Lumberjack's part and all that stuff. Pink Pie's like fine and she and there says you know to go and send Pinkie Pie into the bad Pinkie Pie corner <laughs> so um, yeah and you know the story starts up again with uh, Lumberjack coming in and seeing that Apple Bloom is beating up the wolf with a wicker basket, telling me she's saying, oh, um, you know, she's a Granny Smith, and all that stuff, and she, wolf explains, finally, it gets to explain that she doesn't eat Granny, she didn't eat Granny, uh, I eat apples, and then suddenly, the wolf gets hit on the head with a frying pan, revealing that Granny Smith didn't get eaten, she just went out and bought a, like, 120-piece set frying piece set, <laughs> and it's, so yeah. And uh, then that's when the story starts to end. It, it Later on, it cuts to, you know, I guess events afterwards, after the cottage has been cleaned up. And it reveals that uh, the wolf is working with Granny to basically guard the house and the apples. And in payment, she gets treats. So it's pretty much um, the story of it. Um, it's a very simple story, once again. It's just like the first one. It's a fairy tale with a little piece setting. It's, it's a really, I think this is much better than the first one. The fourth wall breaks are mostly towards Pinkie Pie. There are a few with Applejack, like, you know, Apple, like, Apple Bloom, uh, and I see Apple Bloom says, um, Doddle, and, um, uh, Applejack's like, did you just say Doddle? So, yeah, it's pretty much just that, you know, there's a few Applejack, but not too many Applejack, uh, scenes, you know, sort of breaking the fourth wall in a sense. Um, it's mostly Pinkie Pie, and, I think it's better off with Pinkie Pie, though, because it's funny when Pinkie Pie does it, because instead of Applejack, um, so, yeah, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this story, um, I did, re I really enjoyed it, I'll probably do the third one as well, since the third one is actually my favorite one out of all these, um, but yeah, once again, these stories are made by Magpie, you can go check it out on her YouTube channel, or you can just go check it out, um, on Fem Fiction, um, but I don't think Fem Fiction has fourth wall breaks, um, with Pinkie Pie, I think that's only for the animated, uh, for the audio versions, and that's the one I definitely suggest to uh, get, uh, do the audio versions, because they're a lot more hilarious, they're really hilarious and really funny and done very well. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this story, um, leave a like, um, or, you know, comment saying how much you enjoyed the story. Um, if you want to check out my other stories, subscribe to my channel. You can check out new ones, or you can just check out some of my old ones. I did do another fairy tale version story of, you know, Bride of Discord, which is based off of fairy tale. So, yeah, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm, uh,